This video is sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community where there are thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. And in fact, I've been a longtime user of Skillshare way before they reached out for the sponsorship and a ton of the skills that I use for this YouTube channel every single day I learned on Skillshare. where he goes through step by step on how he produces a YouTube video start to finish. And it's not just for people trying to become YouTubers, of course. There are thousands of courses on here with everything from mastering productivity with Thomas Frank to the basics of singing with Gabriel. So whether you're interested in making a career pivot or you're looking to level up in your current role, Skillshare has got you covered. So if that sounds like something you'd be into, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box or my code will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Seriously guys, check him out. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. What is going on guys, Jesse here. So today we're talking about the Bang & Olufsen Beoplay EX wireless noise canceling earbuds. And these are a frustrating pair of earbuds. Not because they're bad, but because they're so good and so close to being my perfect pair of earbuds but they just have a couple of things that are, to me, deal breakers. And I just can't help but be frustrated that my search has to continue. But the good thing about that though, is that if these things aren't deal breakers to you, everything else about these earbuds is so good that it makes it a really, really strong contender for anybody looking for a premium wireless pair of noise canceling earbuds. So if that sounds good, let's hop right in. As usual, let's start this off by talking about the case, because I've said this before, but the case is just as important as the buds themselves and the whole experience of using these as a product, because this is how you carry them around, and as a portable pair of earbuds, how you carry them around is a big part of what you do with them. So as far as build and materials go, no surprise coming from Bang & Olufsen, these both look and feel very premium. So this entire outer shell is made out of aluminum with this really nice feeling matte finish to it that I do like, but it does seem like it'll be very prone to scratching if you leave it in pockets with keys or something like that. And these premium materials also gives this probably one of the most satisfying snaps clothes I've ever heard in a pair of earbuds. And if you've watched my other reviews on earbuds, you know that's pretty important to me because I really like to fidget and this, this is really nice. So the only part of the outer shell that isn't aluminum is gonna be this bottom plastic piece that allows for wireless charging. And visually it's actually not too bad just because they've been able to color match the aluminum to the plastic pretty well. I just wish it didn't have all this writing on the bottom cause I just feel like it's pretty distracting on an otherwise very minimal and inoffensive design. Cause other than that, we've just got the Bang & Olufsen logo on the top and this LED on the front that'll give you some information about battery life. And as far as battery life goes, these are really solid with six hours of playtime with ANC on, eight hours with ANC off, and about two to three more charges in the case with a 20 minute quick charge feature that'll give you about an hour, 45 minutes with a 20 minute charge. Now my only issue with the case though, and if you've watched any of my other earbud videos in the past, you know where this is going, but it's the size. This is just a really big earbud case and it just becomes a problem for me because it's not comfortably pocketable. Like I've got an AirPods Pro case here just for size comparison. I don't mean to compare these directly just cause I feel like these are aimed at very different crowds, but this is just something that I think most people know the size of or have seen before. So it's just a good point of reference. So I actually think the AirPods Pro case is a really good size. I carry them around daily and I don't find it uncomfortable to just throw it in a pocket. And you can actually see that in the X and Y dimensions, the Bang & Olufsen's case is very similar in size to the AirPods, which is great. It's just that when we flip them around and compare the thicknesses, that's when the problem appears. The B&O's case is just way thicker. Like I would say probably 50% thicker. And to me, that's too thick to throw in a pocket. And it's to the point that when I'm heading out the door, I actually have to think about it for a second, whether or not I want to bring these with me because they're so big, which is just a huge bummer for me. Now, moving on to the buds themselves, we've got a very AirPods-like stem design that aesthetically, I'll let you decide for yourself whether or not you like the look of, but I do think it does have some distinct advantages when it comes to comfort because it allows you to move some of the mass that otherwise would have been in this actual bud portion outside of the ear 
And what causes discomfort and pain in earbuds is kind of the displacement of the cartilage in your ear. And with a smaller earbud, there's just gonna be less displacement. Now, that being said, these are still pretty large earbuds. And for me, the comfort was a little bit strange. Like when I first put them in my ears, they were really comfortable and I liked the way that they felt. But after about an hour, they hurt a lot worse than other earbuds I've tried. So I guess your mileage may vary. I will say though that the fit is definitely a lot better than past BNO earbuds I've tried. Like I took these to the gym and they stayed in just fine. They're also IP57 rated, so very usable as gym earbuds. So if this is something that you've had issues with other BNO earbuds in the past, I definitely think these are worth giving a shot. Now moving on to features, one of the main ones of the EXs is gonna be active noise cancellation. And while it has it, it's not very good. And it's to the point that a lot of the time when I was using it, I had to go into the app to check that it was even on and not just on passive mode because it's just that weak. Now, cycling through the different modes, ANC, passive, and transparency mode, you definitely can tell that it is doing something. It's just compared to everything else that's out on the market right now, it's not really competitive. And especially at this price point, I would expect a lot more. Now, moving on, we've got touch controls on each earbud with these glass touch pads surrounded by aluminum rings, which by the way, look really, really nice in person. Like, especially in this colorway, I think they look really good. They did an awesome job with that. The only kind of annoying thing Thing is that these glass touch pads are fingerprint magnets and as touch pads you're gonna be touching them so there's no way to keep them clean so questionable choice but I still like them also you guys have heard me complain about touch controls on earbuds in the past and on these it's actually not that bad because usually what the issue is is when you're adjusting the earbuds in your ears you're always accidentally touching them but with these there's actually another area for you to grab other than the touch pad if you need to adjust them so you don't actually end up doing it a lot. This has also got an app that's pretty basic, but gives you pretty much everything that you would need in a pair of earbuds. Like you can see the battery life on each of the buds, play, pause your music, change the volume, and cycle through noise cancellation, transparency, and neutral, which actually the previous earbuds that I reviewed from BNO, the EQs didn't have that. So really glad to see that here. And the main thing I think is the EQ. So they've got a couple of different presets over here, or you can just go in and adjust it yourself. And we'll get more into this when we talk about the sound. But one thing I don't like about the EQ is just, I wish that they had the regular sliders for like lows, mids, and highs, rather than this circle with energetic, bright, relaxed, and warm, because I feel like it's just harder to get where you want to be on this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for features. And last up, before we get into the sound, we'll do a mic test. Okay, so the audio you're hearing now should be coming from the Beoclay EX's mics. And yeah, this is what they sound like. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that this does have a what they're calling own voice, which is basically where they'll pump in your own voice while you're talking into the mics. And that way it'll stop you from kind of shouting while you're using the earbuds, which is nice if you're using these in a public environment. So yeah, this is the mic test of the mics on the Beoplay EX. So with the mic test out of the way, let's talk about what you've all been waiting for, the sound. And to put it simply, these sound great. Like the BNO EQs that I reviewed before, these are probably some of the best sounding wireless earbuds that I've ever tried. Like you get that great deep bass and crisp highs, but with that clarity in the mids that I always look for. It is still definitely got a V-shaped curve though, meaning that it's got a boost in the bass and a bump in the highs as well, with a slight recession in the mids, but it's actually not that bad on here, and I didn't feel like I needed to mess with the EQ on it. Again though, just like with the EQs though, if I had to criticize the sound on these at all, it would have to be that the highs are a little bit harsh, especially at higher volumes. One of the upgrades of these over the EQs though has to be the higher volume though. So the max volume on the EQs was like the AirPods Pro at about 80% volume. These though get louder than the AirPods Pro and I think for most people, you're not gonna have a problem with that. So overall, these are pretty much an upgrade in every way from the previous EQs. But like I said at the beginning of the video, that's also why these frustrate me so much because I like a lot of things about them. I love the sound, the battery life, and just the new design and fit. It's just the case. This thing is it's just too big for me. And the way that I use earbuds, I can't carry these around with me. And I think the whole point of having earbuds is to be portable. Otherwise, everyone would just wear over your headphones all the time. Because to me, it doesn't really matter how good they sound or how good the battery life is if they're sitting at home and not in your ears. So if you're not crazy like me and you're willing to carry around a slightly larger case like this, 
I think these are an absolute go. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you liked it, sub if you loved it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.